Hi everyone, how's it going? So, back in September, I got a hamster, and he's one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. In case you're wondering what he looks like, he's fucking adorable. But the process of picking him up was far from adorable. In my last video, I talked about how I tried to DIY a cage from him, and that process was a disaster. Well, it didn't really get better when I went to actually pick him up. Somehow, I messed up the really easy process of going to a store and purchasing a hamster. So, this story starts on the day after I finished the cage, which happened to be a Saturday, when I was like, okay, I'm ready for a hamster, I want to pick one up. My roommates had some errands to run and kind of wanted to come with me to pick up a hamster, so my roommate brought her blinds, and we needed to go to a Home Depot to cut them. We needed some stuff from a Target, and we needed a pet store. So we picked a plaza that had all three of those, and we decided to go to it at like 6 p.m. on a Saturday. Well, this particular plaza, it was a bus ride away from a train station. So we go to the train station, and we just missed the bus to get to the plaza. Now, if I wasn't being antsy and really just wanting a hamster really bad, that would have been fine and we would have waited 15 minutes for a bus and everything would have been okay. But since I was antsy and impatient, I decided to Google Maps like what other buses will take us there. And um, my phone gave me one and it turns out it was coming in like a minute. So I quickly convinced my roommates this is a good idea. It's just a six or seven minute walk from the other bus stop and Google Maps says it's okay. They finally agree, we get on this new bus, and lo and behold, a few minutes later, we're driving past the shopping center. Except we don't stop near it. We keep going by the shopping center, through a rotary, and then we stop on the other side. I still trust Google Maps at this point, so I'm like, you know what, it'll be okay, maybe there's a footpath or something. Nope, Google Maps thought it was okay to walk through a rotary without crosswalks. And since we were too awkward to call an Uber, like, a quarter mile from the shopping center we needed, we decided to go for it. Now, we were also feeling a little bit of hope because there was this lady who got off the bus at the same time as we did, and we thought, maybe she knows where she's going, we can just follow her, everything's good. Um, yeah, we soon realized she made the worst mistake of her life and was following three dumbasses through a rotary as we were sprinting from divider to divider, trying not to get hit by lanes upon lanes of traffic, carrying three sets of blinds, Somehow we made it through the rotary, only stopping a minimal amount of traffic and not getting hit at all, and we made it to the parking lot. We apologized profusely to that poor lady who followed us into that situation in the first place, and then continued on to Home Depot to get the blinds cut. When we get to Home Depot, we realize their blind cutter is broken, so these blinds we just carried across a very dangerous situation are still going to remain the same length that we need. Yay. Whatever, we still have the Target and the Petco or PetSmart trip, and um, we have some hope that those will turn out well. We go to Target, get everything we need, it's awesome. We're carrying a bunch of bags, but we're just going to go to Petco and uh, everything will be alright. So we get to Petco or PetSmart, I forget which one it is, and they only have four hamster cages. But I assume there's probably a hamster I'll want since the kind I wanted to get was very common. And so I picked out all my accessories. I spent like 25 minutes picking out accessories while my roommates followed me around being like, do you need this? Do you need this? And I was like, give me it all. I need everything. And so I grabbed like a billion accessories. I was ready to go pick out my hamster and I get to the cages and one hamster cage is empty. Two hamster cages are filled with hamsters that I really kind of don't want. And the last hamster cage not wasn't the type of hamster I wanted, but was this adorable little gray hamster that I was like, I could live with this guy. He's adorable. So we're standing around the cages waiting for a shop assistant. And um, this little girl and her mom come up. And they're like oogling over this little tiny hamster that I was thinking about getting. And I was just sitting there like, I can't fight with a six-year-old to get a hamster. That can't be a thing. I'm over 18. I'm not gonna steal this little girl's dream hamster. Um, good news, we didn't have to fight. This lady had already purchased the hamster for her daughter, and they were just signing the adoption papers. 
But that also meant I was out of a hamster that I wanted. I was looking at the other two trying to decide if I wanted them when my roommate really was just like, look, you're going to have this pet for two years. You want one that you want. And I was like, oh, I guess so. So we decided to go to another pet store. Except the issue was we had all these bags we were carrying and we didn't really want to carry them. So we decided to go back to the apartment, drop off our stuff, and then go to the pet store. Except it's now like 7 p.m. and stuff closes at 8 or 9. So we have to Uber back to our apartment, drop our stuff off, grab a quick snack because we still hadn't eaten, and then go back to the pet store. So we're finally at the second pet store, picking out a hamster, and everything is going all right. They had the exact kind of hamster I was looking for, so I pick one out. The shop assistant comes over. She almost drops him twice. She's like, oh yeah, these guys are squirmy. And I was like, you should know how to hold a hamster. That is literally your entire job. And then she goes and picks up the one next to him. And he also kind of drops back into his cage. And I was like, oh my god, please don't kill my hamster before I buy him. But everything's going fine. I go. She makes sure to ID me because apparently I look under 18. And I'm purchasing my hamster. Dreams are coming true. And, um... As I'm checking out, like, I haven't owned this hamster for more than minutes, she goes, so, um, Petco or PetSmart, or whatever store you're at, has a 30-day policy where if your pet dies within the first 30 days, you can bring us the, um, body and we'll replace it for free. And I'm just sitting there, like, shocked because I'm holding this tiny little, like, baby hamster being, like, this guy's my dream, he's so cute, he's gonna live forever. And she's sitting there like, oh yeah, if he dies in 30 days, bring us his corpse and we'll replace him for free. Like, I get that some pets come out of the pet store and they're sick and they're gonna die. But I'm also sitting there like, if I kill a pet within 30 days, should I really be given another one for free? And I was just shook, traumatized by that experience. And I kind of just like grabbed him and like ran out of the store and we Ubered home. And I went to put him in his cage, and he's exploring the top part where I put him in, and he gets to the tube that I had set up so he could get from the bottom to the top, and um, he doesn't like it. He will not go down the tube. Maybe because he was small or whatever, but like he refused to go down this tube. So I had to switch it out for a tube I bought for the inside of the cage, and I put that on the outside. And overall, he had a pretty good first experience. Um, I set up his cage. It was awesome. And he only bit me twice and my roommate once. He also bit another friend a month later, like hard enough to draw blood. Um, but now he's really fine with being picked up. It's great. That's mainly due to the fact that my friend who works with animals a lot came over and she just scooped him up and played with him for like an hour. And since then he's been completely fine with being picked up. But yeah, overall, he's been a great pet. I really like him a lot and really happy that I got him. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to. Moral of this story is don't run across lanes of traffic in a rotary. Trust your roommate who knows which bus to get on and get the pet you want. Go for it. Pets are amazing. All right. Thank you and bye.